And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Poppy to start the day off. So we were kind of talking the other day about how Viego is really good and it's surprising how little play Viego really sees because of how good of a card it is. And so I was thinking, okay, well, how, how do I want to play a new Viego deck? And I was just thinking, well, what about putting Viego with all of the amazing Bandle City cards that uh, we've been playing a lot that just look really good and, you know, just kind of playing Viego with Bandle City, you know, playing Viego with Poppy and and how you go wide with Poppy. And so that kind of gives us, you know, multiple ways to win. We can either, you know, have an aggressive Poppy hand or we can kind of sit back with Viego. I don't know. Kind of thought that this could be kind of like a cool thing to try. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, kind of, you know, it's pretty easy one to put together with all the threes, then a couple of twos with mini morph and stress defense. And uh, we'll just kind of play it and see how we go uh, with Viego Poppy. We got all Bandle City decks today. It's a Bandle City Saturday. Uh, let's give Viego Poppy a try. Here we go. So it's also possible that like my interaction isn't that I didn't set up the best interaction here. That we could have, um, you know, different stuff like even playing like a Ruination. Um, or different, you know, different cards that I should have in instead of some of these others. I mean, I, I want to keep the Hydrovine, but Hydrovine should be good in this matchup. But we got to have our early stuff. I'm going Buster Shots, be able to kill Poppies. I think maybe I have too many Loof Travelers. Could be my. I was worried about my curve being too high. All right, I'm really glad they don't have the three two. That definitely looks like too many aloof travelers. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. I guess we pass. With our crystals combined. <laughs> Don't want those things hitting me. Take the elusive. I don't know, it dies to a darkness. Obviously, I have to kill that Viego this round. So I, I was planning on playing the Trickster, but now we're going to try to Buster Shot and Pokey Stick to kill Vagar. I said Viego, I think, but Vagar. So they do have another stress defense in this okay then that turns back into a 1-3. Uh, one mana short from Viego's champion spell. Viego has a very good champion spell against Vagar. Yeah, it's kind of weird how close those two names are, right? Viego and Vagar. 
very close named, closely named champions. You dropped something. I dropped everything! Okay. Let's see if they had, like, many morph on their side. Vagar's a way older champ than Viego. So obviously they're going to be playing this darkness. Okay, just starting to go to the Nexus. This requires my largest official hand. You never. Deals two to all enemies. Decinata plus Buster Shant. That's not a bad plan. Or like Aloof Travelers, Viego. Um, that that plan's not really killing Vagar. Let's roll. No arguments here. That's a first. Man, they still have so many cards in hand. Just creating creating these one mana darkness. Over and over. I probably need to be playing just Viego more than what I. I just need like Glimpse Beyond. Like maybe I should be playing Glimpse Beyond instead of Hidden Pathways to help out Viego. To be able to kill my own thing for Viego. So we've killed two Vagars and one Senna. Return to us. What? Oh, the Senna I mini morphed. I'd rather them bring back Senna than bring back Vagar. Vagar is like the only card that kills me in their deck. We can now grind Senna. The whole world will know my anguish.
Yeah, Vagar is the only thing that can kill me. Unfortunately, but they do have Vagars. Mini morph, mini morph. No. Yeah, this is too bad. Only one card in their deck can kill me, and they've gotten three of them so far. Looks like I'm dead. No, I mean that it doesn't it doesn't matter if I draw another mini morph now, I mean the game's over. They're gonna get priority first and they just darkness me. No, this stuff matters, the game's over. For the wicked, for the dead. No, 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 not at all. Dark is said is darkness the toughest matchup for Viego? No, not at all. No. I sh I just shouldn't have, I shouldn't have mini morphed the Senna. That was a really bad choice by me. I should have saved my mini morph for because Viego is the only or Vagar. Sorry, that's the only card that can kill you. All right, Twisted Fate Gangplank. Like I would I would rather face the darkness than probably this Twisted Fate Gangplank, right? Because they're gonna burn me out, and I don't really have Nexus healing. All right, I probably need to change a couple of things about the deck. I probably have too many aloof travelers, not enough removal or good enough removal. No, probably like the puff cap. I think probably like what, what would be that what would we be worst against is probably the puff cap decks. Mama's home. Like Timo. Timo, Caitlyn with Freljord, that's probably a really tough matchup. Because we're super slow and draw a lot of cards and stuff. The stress defense was pretty useless. This could turn into something that can kill Vagar instead. This should probably be a removal spell, maybe a... Uh, maybe some Black Spears. Yeah, stress defense looks pretty bad. I'm also not sure the otter puss is, is very good. Let's get it, crew. Did y'all know that we actually have um, we actually have Poppy in our deck? Did y'all know that? We have gone through about mm, let's see, we've gone through ten games. 10 cards this game, probably about 20 or so cards last game. Gone through a lot of cards. Okay, let's see. Right now... Okay, 4-2 block, what, like, stone stackers? And then block the 3-5, block the 3-2. Man, Judgment is... Judgment is enticing. Let's try it out. Try to have like Hydrovine Judgment. Big mistake. This is gonna cost 
Yeah. We could certainly fool them with that judgment. They could be surprised by that later. This requires my largest official hat. Some lecturing yordles. Okay, so after this game, I'm going to be changing this deck up a little bit. I need more Nexus healing in here. Needs a little bit different interaction. Stress defense is useless. Hidden Pathways hasn't looked that good. But we're playing Shadow Isles. We can get Nexus healing in. I need a little bit of a lower curve also. I need not as many Aloof Travelers. Also. Yeah, Siverum Hecker Siver Hecarum. That deck is pretty cool. Played that yesterday. Never lost a fair game. We saw our very first dead in their tracks. Very first copy. Might as well attack with this otter puss also. Yes, they're they're planning on then playing that poison dart, the Hydra Vine, but I'm gonna save it with stress defense. I just got done saying that stress defense hasn't been very good. Best idea? Picking up that extra puff count. So I'm down to. Where was I? Okay, yeah, they attack with with both of those. That puts me down to three. And it's basically, you know, do I draw three Puff Caps and the you know, like them have fast speed, right? Because we're going to be able to attack and kill them immediately with these Hydra Vines. So I really shouldn't play that Aloof Travelers and draw that extra card because I drew that extra Puff Cap. I didn't need to. At least do that extra card that had one. Hey, we got a donation deck from uh, Boloso. Awesome. Second or third is fine. Awesome. 
Getting lots of deck ideas from the YouTube channel. Glad to hear it. Alright, it's going to be super close. We shouldn't... We should draw either zero or one puff caps. Zero. Okay, we hit one. So they have to draw a fast speed. Um, you know, fast speed, deal one damage. Hopefully they don't. I don't think they play too much. Yeah, they don't play too much fast speed, deal one damage. All right, one and one. Let's change up our deck a little bit. So. Quest complete. On to the next one. Okay, we're back. We made some changes to the deck. Took out, uh, replaced Otterpuss with Warden's Prey, where Warden's Prey can get us another body. Also, just a, a small, you know, because looking at the one drops, like I don't love any of the one drops. Could play Hapless Aristocrat. Um, the a small bonus to Warden's Prey, besides sometimes getting some really awesome Last Breath followers is that, you know, those Last Breath followers will be a different region, so that will help out Buster Shot to cost two mana. Getting one Conchologist in here um, over an Aloof Travelers just to kind of lower the curve a little bit. So in instead of playing all these Aloof Travelers, we're kind of splitting that up and playing one Conchologist, one Black Spear, and one Aloof Travelers. Um, that's that's like kind of those those three spots, just again, a little bit more interaction for Vagars and, and Poppies and just things we have to kill. Um, that we'll probably be always happy with that. And we can make more aloof travelers with Bandle City Mayor and Loping Telescope, as we've seen. And so one conchologist to get some spells. Also lowering the, the curve, instead of we had three hidden pathways, we're only going to play one and we're put in two Glimpse Beyonds instead. The Glimpse Beyonds will help Viego, help level up Viego, help us be able to have our own allies die. Uh, sometimes, you know, we want that to happen and get encroaching miss and play and stuff like that. So getting two Glimpse Beyonds in there and also just kind of lowers the curve just a little bit. And then we also fit uh, two Withering Mist in here instead of those two um, Stress Defense. Again, getting us some Nexus Healing and some more interaction. So let's try that out. You know, changing it up just a little bit. So here we go. Uh, game number three. Yeah, I like Black Spear over Vile Feast because of the cards that we need to kill and like the, the size of the champions. Um, I'm not really that worried about like the the really small things because of uh, because of just having a lot of small bodies that we already have and having pokey stick. But there's these mid-sized champions that aren't always in combat that we have to kill. So game playing Sejuani is an awesome deck. I'm gonna keep one Viego. We need we need to start off early and make sure they don't get too far ahead. Keep one Viego. Good. Let's get proof. What does he want from me? Ready? Aim. Just leave me alone. Hmm. Well, these encroaching mists can bring back Shark Chariot. This mama is a beast, mama. That could be a thing. The Bandle Commando. Well, never mind. I was gonna say the Bandle Commando can actually block and survive against the Crackshot Corsair, but never mind, Hired Gun. You point, I shoot. Crack shot Corsair. Or not. Sometimes your opponents just have really good hands. This one looks like a good hand. Good hand upon it. Alright, we need Viego to save us. We need no champions on their side, please. That's not exactly what I was talking about when I said no champions. She waits for me beyond the mist. My queen. Break their legs. Let's do this. You cannot stop me. Coward. 
Isn't exactly what I meant. The whole world will know my anguish. Awesome. We get a pass there. Uh, expecting, yeah, I was gonna say that probably means Sejuani. Alright, so if I want to play you, I only have two other mana. Let's try and decide which one to play. You know, the Glimpse Beyond or the Loping Telescope. Imagine if they do attack out with everybody, we would, would want to block everybody. Don't stand in my way. Let's make cookies. I don't love this block right here. Bad draw. This spray fin though is just killing me with the elusive. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Yeah. I was going to say, alternatively, I could just not attack with this Encroaching Mist, so then it dies at the end of round, and so then we get the 3-3 for a blocker next round, instead of that little bit of damage in. Alright, I guess they got this. I'm starting to think we need three mini morphs. Not two. Especially this matchup, we need them. All right, good. The pokey stick re that really helps out for the powder kegs. Um, but still, really? I don't really know how I'm going to survive this round. I don't think I can, right? Because this is 3, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, like, that's just 10 right there, but then also that ability. Wait, why didn't they... I mean, I think it's still 10. But... Yeah. That's 14. I don't know why they, like, they should have challenged here. Oh, that's good. Deal six randomly for those, for those two. That's not bad. Yeah, great hand opponent. Opponent had a great hand. Jeez, they had an awesome curve, you know, like, curving all the way out. That spray fin was perfect, and then three champions in Dreadway. All right, Hecarim Azir. We really haven't had those kind of hands yet at all, right? We haven't like curved out into our champions. I guess we'll just keep a Viego again. Like, what is this garbage <laughs> that we have over here? There we go, it's better now. I think we, we've we mulliganed three plus cards every single game, right? That's not a good sign. Morning. Spray in a 
Dragon Raid. Yes, bitch. Play this right away before, <clears throat> like while we still get the cost reduction there, before that cost reduction goes away. Basically, do I take two or do I have the Vandal City Mayor die? What kind of spell do they... They probably have some kind of spell or something right now, right? I don't really want to take two. <clears throat> that doesn't... Oh, wait, that will kill it, won't it? I guess I could have glimpsed any of these, you know, I could have glimpsed this owl cat also. It had the spell shield, but of course they respond by killing the mayor. I don't draw the two cards, but we still grow the Viego, which is the important thing. Seem like a pretty good spot to attack. And I am the darkness that will swallow the shadow whole. Okay. Looks like I'm taking five. I kind of want to just save spell mana. Seven. To the street. I have respect the people and we are in Sharima. All right, maybe I shouldn't have saved spell mana. No. Alright, looks like we're going to have level up Viego. Should we get in this one? Oh man, I wish I could play the Dawn Speakers. Playing that to make this Buster Shot 2 mana. Alright. I'm about to level up Viego, and that's going to be a win. There is only darkness. And now we have Trundle Trindamir. Okay. And Mini Morph is awesome for this matchup. So I guess I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to need it for a long time, but it's going to be a card that I'm going to be very happy to have whenever they have like this Trindamir that's like all super scary and stuff after a Field of Rush. 
A uh, question, is this deck working like you anticipated or better? I would say not quite as good as anticipated. Baddies beware, mama's got a gun. Right, don't the attack like them. Serving lead. I'm just hitting them for one. Did I play soldier and I walk into avalanche? Yeah, Zir Hecarim. Yeah, has received lots and lots of nerfs. I don't feel like the Jawfish is too good. I don't really see the Serpent doing anything. But I guess I'm taking this card, but this thing has cost 7 mana. Maybe we should, maybe we should have just take the Serpent. Question was is if Azir Hecarim never got nerfed, would that deck be busted strong? Maybe. I don't know. A lot of the nerfs weren't really for that deck. They just kind of ended up getting a lot of nerfs from wanting to nerf other stuff. What does he want from me? Getting some cards out of hand. I could kill one of my own things right now, but if I do that, you know, then we get the encroaching mist. Um, I will not be made to wait. Alright, so now we're definitely gonna be doing that. Champion spell there. Remove Trundle. These the spell shield doesn't save any of those. They still die. I'm doing this right now because if I go to attacks. I guess if I go to attacks, I guess this thing would die and then get a new one. I was gonna say that. Then my Viego would die to. Oh. I will find her. Shouldn't these? Oh no no we already got. Okay never mind never mind. Yeah so yeah we had to play that. Okay. Everything's everything's okay. All right, fifteen power. They go Trindamir. For the thrill of battle. There's six. I'm gonna have three mana left. Mirror was the one I wanted to mini morph anyway. I, 
All right, so we got leveled up Diego. Both our champions are dead. Unfortunately, my leveled up Diego is not doing a whole lot right now. You know, like we steal an ice pillar. <clears throat> it's not like that's a big deal. Just Ruination's a card, right? I kind of have to play around Ruination a little bit by not playing more stuff. Force them to like vengeance. These old eyes still see far. What wondrous discoveries await below? This will take mm. it, you know. There's the ruination. We got more Hydra Vines. All right, that will do. We're gonna have 10 10 encroaching miss <laughs> next, next round. Okay, so I think the deck looked better after, you know, after those changes. I think it still could use some more work, but I think there's something here, right? Because we just see some of those games, like how powerful Viego is. And so putting Viego with this good early game, maybe more Conchologist uh, is the answer. Um, you know, I'll have to keep on, keep on working on it. Maybe there is a better champion than Poppy to play, but I don't love any of like the, the five mana champions to go along with Viego. Um, I mean, I guess you could play Thrash, but, you know, like, you, you kind of want to, like, slam Viego on round five, but I guess you could do those two. Vagar is an option, but I don't really want to play all the Darkness stuff. I don't really want to build it just like a Darkness deck. I want to just play, like, you know, regular Bandle cards that we've seen be so good. Um, I guess Callista's an option, but you already have, like, other threes with the Mayor and Soldier. I think Poppy fits, but maybe I need some more bodies, maybe more Conchologist. I don't know, once the commando gets going, we, we're getting a lot of hungry owl cats and stuff. So still work in progress. Um, Mini Morph was awesome for us. We were really playing against large decks and decks with like very expensive and very good champions. And so the Mini Morphs were awesome. Kind of wish we had more of those. Buster shots were awesome, killing stuff that we needed to. Um, you know, kind of keep working on it. I don't really, I didn't really like the Warden's Prey. It didn't look great, but Otterpuss didn't look great either. Maybe there's just no good option for one mana. I mean, there's Hapless Aristocrat, I guess. Maybe just the answer is just, you know, instead of playing Warden's Prey, just don't worry about playing anything at one mana and just play more Conchologist and, like, Vile Feast. And, you know, like, go go that route of, like, get, like, two Conchologists, two Vile Feast. Wherever Vile Feast is. That's a card that's in here somewhere. And just not, you know, not play one drop and then just have, like, your Poke Sticks and Vile Feast... Um, and just assume you're you're just going to be saving your one spell mana. Maybe that's the the plan there. So, uh, but I think this this could I think this has a lot of potential because of how strong Viego is and how strong Vandal City is with all these other options. You know, but there's just lots of cards that you could play, so you just kind of have to keep tuning it. So that's what we'll have to keep doing. But I think there's a lot of good stuff here, and still, even with that, that's a three two record for ranked you know like we'll take three two records all day all right but that's going to be it for viego poppy so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and definitely leave those comments and let me know what you think of viego with vandal city and if you have any ideas for the deck um you know maybe played this card over this card or you have you know any any ideas for improving the deck let me know or if you try it out yourself let me know how it goes for you because i think it is a powerful deck we went three and two and we never even had like an a poppy attack basically right like we, never, we didn't do anything with our other champion besides Viego. 
So imagine games like where we actually played Poppy on round four, right? Like if we actually had that in our hand ever. And, you know, like we play, you know, like whatever two mana card and then like one of these threes and then play a Poppy, right? Like we we never even did that. Yeah, we still uh, went <clears throat> three and two. All right, but that's it for this uh, for this one. So those of you watch later, I already said all that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.